Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Today we're going to do some special selections. If you've been around the channel long enough, you know that's when someone tells me exactly what they want me to check out, and I do it. No questions asked, no exceptions. Thus far. Alright, let's get to it. Today's selection comes at us from Matheson, Matheson McEwen, McEwen, McEwen. I have no idea how to pronounce that. McEwen? Matheson McEwen? Oh, I hope that one's right. That one, that one feels the most natural to say. Um, wants me to check out Smile by David Maxim Mysick. I think I cut off the C there. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm sure. I cut off the C there. It was in the original uh, text request. Uh, but I think it's my sick. I don't think it's my kick, but I guess it could be my kick. David Maxim my sick. The song is Smile. So yeah, let's get into this. Let's see what uh, David's bringing to the table here. I like the laughter in the backgrounds. Very interesting. Yeah, so this is a really upbeat song right now. What is going on? Yeah, that, exactly what I was expecting there. It's good, it's good. It's not easy to decide what genre this is. Really like that bass line back there. The song is like groovy, but just like real rigid at times. It's got some nice pop flares to it, but it's really dark. Yeah. 
I'm really digging this genty pop right here. they going this time? Ooh. That little snare roll? Muted finger picking on the bass is nasty. <laughs> you guys gotta prepare me for this stuff. little hi-hat hits back there. That is a fat bass tone. I've said that before, but that is fat. Yes, yes, they interrupted the fade out. <laughs>
I think my brain has broke trying to <laughs> figure out the song. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that was a trip. That's the wrong way. <laughs> that was something. That was that was something special though. All right, I want to I want to modify that. Usually when I say that it's because it didn't really work for me, but I appreciate what it did and it's like, yeah, that was that was something. But this time I don't <laughs> I love it, but I don't know how to describe it, so it's just, it's something. <laughs> um, God, okay, so, I'm just going to preface this right here. The band is very talented, and there is some, there is some of the comedy, like, I feel like this isn't a straight, serious band. There's too many elements in here that are just them having fun or kind of being awkward or just intentionally, uh, you know, comedically or just like intentionally having great comedic timing. Like when they ended the song very pop like and, you know, just like the guitar ends on its on, you know, the root chord and the singer is ending on the the tonic and just kind of holding it out and it's a very you know airy calming note to end a song on you got your guitar hanging on its chord and then you had your drums like braka just like a nice little ending and they let that fade out happen for two beats bam right into it like <laughs> not even like into a new not even like into a repeat of the chorus like a fake out no they faked out to an entire new section <laughs> So, uh, comedy definitely bleeds through this band. It is part of, well, let me rephrase that. Comedy bleeds through this song. The song is written from a comedic perspective, even though, uh, you know, the lyrics might be about a serious topic. I don't know, but the music itself is comedic, or at least it has sections that are comedic. Now that does not diminish from the band. They have chops. Like I said, they are extremely talented. However, I do feel that it's... I don't want to say this word. <laughs> Generic gent. Uh, they do go off into some interesting ideas. There's like a, like a sludgy section almost, if I remember right. Uh, uh, the chorus is very pop rock. Uh, the beginning is just like super happy. They're 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 a very diverse group of talented people, but the majority of their music is kind of generic -y gent stuff. I don't know if they would stand out without their singer, and I kind of hate saying that because I feel like that's a lot of people focusing on the singer, uh, and you know I understand why people who don't understand music like your gen like I don't want, I don't want to say that negatively but people who haven't studied music uh you know especially people who listen to mainstream music especially pop uh you know you latch on to what you can understand and a lot of people understand lyrics it's the words they speak they get it uh emotion is a lot easier to convey through words when the words are themselves also powerful that has the added uh you know benefit of having the definite the straight definitions or metaphorical definitions tied to the music that the singer is singing there's a reason that vocals are predominant today modern day music vocals are very predominant and in a lot of uh, genres they kind of overshadow the music so i don't want to say that negatively the band is extremely talented and they have a very interesting perception of composition and genre and they have a lot of inspirations on their sleeves that they are kind of mashing together uh, disjointedly where we move from one section to another and they're vastly different, but also in the way that they mesh two genres together into a single sound. But with that said, the singer sold me. All right. And some of that might just be the rug being pulled out for me so hard I broke my ankles 
<laughs> when she came in that first time. Okay, that some this I was talking about content warnings the other day <laughs> about uh, you know knowing what you're getting into when you start a song. Now a band called I really should have looked at the picture of this uh, uh, album art because um, you know. <laughs> Before listening to the music, I was like, okay, you know, there's some cool little creatures on here. But, you know, afterwards, they're not so cool anymore. They have, like, a creepy vibe to them. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> um, but the band is called David Maximisic, or Mykick, or whatever that last word is. <clears throat> and to me, that's someone's name. And... A single person. I was expecting a, a John Gom kind of person, or uh, hmm, who's that Angelo guy who's just like a, a fast shredding guy? But anyways, like a guitar personality, someone who's just really good at a at a facet of the guitar. Whether it's you know uh, like Tosin Abasi with his his uh, finger tapping, or you know like John Gom who just uses everything at once. Or your, you know, your speed people like Ingve Malmsteen and stuff like that. David Maximisic. I'm like, okay, I can't. I got. I got to take a drink. I I tried to play it off, but this is uh, this this is getting a little bad. Okay, okay. I think I can talk now. Okay, so David Maximisic. I really was expecting a person. Probably somebody very good at guitar. Uh, you know, just to kind of go up there and, and shred or write some, you know, play some beautiful music. Or, you know, what have you. And the beautiful music came on. Alright. Alright, I, you know, I got this, I got this pegged. I know where we're going. Uh, and then there was the, the people, like, cheering, laughing in the crowd. And then some clapping. I'm like, okay, okay. So we got this nice little, uh, like, acoustic guitar piece. Maybe it was clean guitars. I don't remember. But, uh, you know, it was, it was nice. Had a, a very, like, upbeat, pleasant sound to it. Uh, you know, we've got that mixed in with these interesting sounds. So I'm like, okay, we got a little bit of, uh, you know, modern classical guitar. Really introducing some cool samples with it. And I'm kind of expecting this throughout. And then the singer came in, and guys, God, talk about whiplash. Just, we went from zero to a thousand. All right. She comes in with those raspy, demonic, crackly, <clears throat> distorted cleans. All right. Just wild. I don't think I've ever heard anything like her singing style in that section. Well, you know what? <clears throat> uh, dang, it was a long time ago. We checked out... I'll, you know, I'll touch on that later. I'll touch on that later. So yeah, just like wild, just shifting. Not even like... Because like some singers, they have the clean. They have the growl. Or the, the fry. And maybe they'll have a distorted clean. And they move between these modes. Uh, you know, rigidly, like a, like a stick shift. You are in clean gear, or you're in distorted gear. Um, and she's just sliding around like nothing. Her clean slide into distorted, slide into fries. <laughs> Wild stuff. Uh, and that whole section is just creepy to begin with. Uh, you know, we really, you know, pedal to the metal, went into like some dark, heavy music which is just such an about face and then out of nowhere bam let's go to pop rock guys it's a little heavier than pop rock but it still has a lot of the key elements of pop rock which is uh you know her singing style was very poppy the composition of the melody was very poppy the chord progression the fact that the guitars mostly only played chords and they kind of strung eighth notes on them strummed eighth notes through the chords, uh, you know, just a very typical, uh, you know, pop rock set, and okay, so where do we go from here, 
and it's just, it's that versatility, it really is, that they can jump from something so pleasant to something so dark and heavy and unusual, and then move into the extremely familiar, and then just continue to do this for the rest of the song. Um, oh my god, and then the opera part, guys, seriously. <laughs> That opera part, man. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even remember what the music was. Just because the vocals threw me off. And they weren't like... I mean, I, I think they were done intentionally poor. But it was like, you know, just your average Joe. You know, walking through... It's actually me, I do this often. Your average Brian walking through the house. Uh, you know, using this really deep singing voice and then like this really wide vibrato <laughs> for no reason other than the fact that that's what you stereotypically think of when you think of a Pratic singing. And, uh, <laughs> and then they didn't stop. Like they kept it going for a minute. <laughs> How do you sing that part without laughing? Oh, man. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what to make of it, but I know I need more. I do. It's, it's such a wild combination of things, and I'm a little worried that the reason I enjoyed it so much is because it subverted every expectation. They, they, they even, comp <laughs> they even mess with my mind with their band name. <laughs> I, I want to know the story behind that because, like I said, it it had me thinking of a completely different concept. Um, so, yeah. I don't know that I have anything else to say here because I don't know what to make of this. It is wild, it's experimental, but it's also very safe. Well, portions are safe. Uh, you know, parts of this song are just... Oh, dude, the bass. God. Not only is the bass line fairly prominent in the mix, but those bass runs were beautiful, especially that palm muted. I mean, that just that was so good. And uh, and then when they went real sparse, and it was just like drum and maybe there was a clean guitar there. It was, it was right next to the end. It was like two minutes before the end, I think. Just a really sparse section. Not a lot going on. And then like every every two or four bar four bars, the bass would just come in and just like boom. Real fat. Almost like a little bit of compression up there too. Just to give it even more grit. And uh Yeah, I mean just such a fat bass tone. I mean, yeah. There's just so much, so many little things I can praise about the band. Just the small choices. And, uh, yeah. But like I was saying, though, I am a little worried that the fact that they completely undermined everything that I thought was going to be happening, uh, or subverted everything that I thought was going to happen, just within the first minute, I wonder if that's going to color my perception of them. Because now I know what to expect. I'm going to expect wild experimental stuff. And crazy vocals. And phenomenal guitar lines. And just funky bass and drums. Uh, yeah. But I need to hear more. Like we might not have another reaction from these guys on the channel. Because I might devour their discography tonight. <laughs> That's how much I enjoyed this. Uh, it's just, this is what I see people making who enjoy metal, but also just have a real fun love of music. And you end up making something like this, where, yes, you have the chops, you have the technical prowess to be phenomenal on your instrument and to display such skill. And you also have the mindset to use that skill 
in very new ways. <laughs> Uh, because it's not enough just to write good music. The music needs to be fun. You can't just have serious music all the time. And I, I just really appreciate their dedication to that. It shows in their versatility of writing. It shows in their, uh, the ways that they subvert genre norms and concepts and just doing whatever they want to there is no need for that apratic section in the middle to even have been there much less go on as long as it did uh but they did it because it's fun and maybe even a little bit because it's funny i don't know if they necessarily did it because they wanted to make people laugh but it's it's just such a subversion that it might as well be a musical joke so I don't know. I greatly enjoyed this. I have enjoyed it so much I forgot who requested it. <laughs> uh, who is this? Matheson. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry if I butchered your last name. McEwen. McEwen. I can't, I don't even remember what I said felt right earlier. <laughs> oh man, that song. That song just... Alright, thank you Matheson though. Fantastic selection. I understand why people have been trying to get me to check this out it's definitely a you know reaction song it's it's wild it's unexpected it's it's going to it got me to be animated and i usually sit here with this face like that's that's as expressive as i get with my reactions <laughs> uh and yeah so yeah all right Thanks again, though. That's just fantastic, and I'm really glad it was finally brought to my attention. I know it's been in the spreadsheet for a while, and I kind of regret not getting around to it yet. Just, uh, you know, I, I can't. I'm not a psychic. I don't know what's going to be fantastic or not. I just have a list of 700 band names. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this band name, is it flies under the radar anyway. To me, it sounds like a person. <laughs> Alright, this is where you guys come in. Now hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys thought of David Maxim Mysik. Mykik, Mikik, Mysik. I don't know how to pronounce that. There's no reason to have I-C-I-C. -I -C. Like, that is not a word. Just because you put a consonant in front of it doesn't change that. <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this band, this song. Uh, and any more songs to check out. Like I said, there's been some reactions. I could probably, uh, you know, search through the comments and find some more tracks. But it's also really easy to have a modern list of song requests. Uh, just because it kind of, uh, it, the request can be based on what I thought now rather than, you know, what I thought seven months ago when someone requested it. So, yeah. There's also a description box if you'd like to get in on this uh, special selection dealio there's a link in there to help you get set up with that if you're interested um there's also links to patreon and and uh other stuff blocked video list and the uh, aforementioned spreadsheet and uh you know there's also some buttons around there like subscribe and a bell to ring they help out the channel and if you're interested in getting updates and notifications about when i put stuff out it can help you too normally we do two of these on sunday and I regret to say that, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to. We're only going to get the one done, unfortunately. Um, but whoever is next in line, Jonathan Henderson, I apologize for not getting you done today, but I'll try to get it done during the week um, so that you don't have to wait an entire seven days to see your request. All right. I hope that's okay. Until next time, actually, buh, until next time, Monday, tomorrow, starts growling week. We are going to have a fun week. Not everybody's going to enjoy every song. Uh, but that's what this channel's about. Kind of exposing ourselves to new things. And, you know, if we don't end up enjoying them, at least knowing what we don't like and maybe why we don't like it. But I'm really hoping to come out the other side Maybe not necessarily with a newfound appreciation for growling, because I do appreciate the art form and the dedication that goes into it, but I'm kind of hoping to enjoy the texture a little more, to kind of understand how it fits in. 
right now I'm at a point where I'm just kind of, I can deal with it. It doesn't, it doesn't grate on me, but I don't prefer it in songs. But we'll see what goes. We got some really good stuff coming up this week. Some of the best or most accessible growling in songs. So I'm really excited to see how that goes. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with that tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow night for me, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC. All right, until then, you guys stay safe out there. Keep being awesome and have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos.